So a quick update on this little mini analog VU meter that I'm making. So I added a little magnet over here to uh, help this thing go up because of the, to compensate for the weight of this needle. And so now it's fairly responsive. And uh, I have here an old iPhone that's uh, capable of playing music. And what I have is I connected it, I made a quick and dirty um, amplifier with an LM386 I had laying around. Um, and basically the output of that is going to a speaker and the rest is going, uh, just split signal going to this VU meter. So um, I am going to uh, just play music for just for a little bit um, so as not to get copyrighted. Now I'm going to turn off, this, disconnect the speaker, and if I can get it disconnected, I'm just going to play the music. And you can see the VU meter reading to the signal. So, and this is all just with a, a magnet. Electromagnet and a permanent magnet being controlled by uh, voltage. Um, and once again, this is uh, the electromagnet is uh, using 42 gauge uh, enamel coated copper wire that's um, uh, spun around this um, enclosure of basically a cut up pill bottle, 200 uh, turns. So that is. Now I just have to make it look pretty and uh, mark the different voltages on it. Um, but we have here a working analog VU meter. Um, and as makeshift as possible, it cost me a grand total of um, maybe a dollar to make this. So worth of parts, mostly the stuff laying around other than the circuitry. but. Um, that works pretty well. And let's, uh, let's hear the music again. There's a crappy speaker, so I don't want to make too much noise, but that works pretty darn well. So I just have to make it look pretty. Thanks for watching. And here it is. Final VU meter circuit working with the uh, music source and that's the nuts and bolts. And I just have to make it look pretty and it's an analog VU meter.